I think for the longest time, Africans had to kind of be told who they are. And in the history of time, we are now able to kind of tell our own story and write our own history in real time. Having had studied film, I think I learned the fundamentals of storytelling, which is the backbone of my work. I feel that storytelling is the most powerful tool that we have. Um, we are able to create new worlds and to correct former worlds as well. Everything about my work is Africa. I mean, anywhere in the world, wherever I travel, I try to connect the dots and I always try to find traces of what feels like home. and. It's, it's, it's in everything, it's in the colors, in the shapes, in, in the people, in the smiles, it's in, it's, it's in everything that just reminds me of home and it's the only place that I've been able to call home. So I think Africa for me is, it's the, the roots, the stems and the flowers of my work. We are living in a one of a lifetime um, era where we are able to tell our own stories from our own point of view and and to be able to to tell authentic stories from like a first-hand lived experience as opposed to previously where I guess we were told who we were and I think with my work I always shoot black people um, in elevated positions and highly stylized and reimagined because in the books of history we don't exist in those spaces um, where we are elevated, celebrated and shown in the highest form of excellence and I feel that this is the, the golden era, you know, I don't think there has ever been a time like this where um, black creatives have a voice that is is heard, seen, recognized, and celebrated all at once. And I think it's, it's a beautiful time to, to, to exist.